So the great thing about a titration is that every single time that you do one, you should get better. And what I mean by that is y'all have three attempts at this. So let's say hypothetically in your first try, you get a result like what I got. And you look at your burette and you say, oh, well, I added 13.9 milliliters of sodium hydroxide and that's when it went purple. What you need to do then in trial number two is rinse all your glassware, prep all your solutions again, the exact same way, and say, I'm gonna add 13.0 milliliters of my sodium hydroxide, and then I'm gonna watch every single individual drop. If you notice, the last few times that I was adding solutions, I let actually too quick of a stream flow through. And so that fast stream went into my, titra into my HCL solution and boom, it went purple. Now there were a couple of times prior to whenever it finally turned over to being purple where it, that pinkish purple solution was there and it looked like, oh, it's gonna stay, but then it disappeared. So it's, there's, there's almost like a little game that this solution is playing with you. So for trials two and trial three, think about it as, okay, trial one was, I did all right, I have a vague, I have a rough idea of what volume. Trial number two, okay, now, I'm going to fine tune it. And you go from trial number one, where you say 13.6 milliliters, to trial number two, where you say, aha, it's 13.35 milliliters. And then trial number three, where you say, aha, I confirm that it's 13.35 uh, milliliters of sodium hydroxide that I need to add. Okay, so that's how you do a titration. When you are all done with this, this solution right here, needs to go into your waste carboy. Any excess sodium hydroxide, there should be a beaker that's collected or that that is collected in, or it goes in your waste carboy. Um, make sure that you clean your glassware very thoroughly. And I hope this experiment goes well. And who can do the best? Think about this as a challenge. I issue a challenge. All right, well, I hope you have a good one and I hope this is helpful.